Hello brothers and sisters and hello life education. I got your video response. I just noticed that it seemed like our time limit on our response has been narrowed down to 6 minutes and 37 seconds. Oh, I don't know if this some YouTube set up or is this something in my computer. But anyways, let me uh, take advantage of it and get right to the point. As far as after Obama's term, Obama is responsible for the destruction of this country as far as profit, profitic wise. He is responsible. He is the one that's chosen by God to bring judgment on America as far as from the inside out. And Jesus is going to bring judgment on it from the outside in. And on Jesus' end, bringing judgment from the outside in is all the enemies outside of this country. That's where Jesus is bringing judgment on America. And Obama is chosen to bring it inside out. Which he on the inside giving information to the people on the outside. Which is Islam. But um... Okay, but anyways, Revelation chapter 18 talks about the fall of Babylon, and basically, after everything Obama grew up, Obama grew up experiencing racism, his wife experienced racism, his dad, this country has treated him extremely horrible, and by man growing up being extreme, being treated extremely bad by his peers at school, at college, by his neighbors and his country. A country that has rejected him, chewed him up, spit him out, and even urinated on him. Do you think that this man would try to help build up a country that has treated him like garbage? Do you think he would try to save a country that has not only treated him like garbage, but him and his family like garbage? So that's where people kind of overlook it. They say Obama gonna fix things. Obama gonna, but they kind of forgot everything that Obama went through. Obama went through a whole lot of bad things. That's what caused him uh, being led to drugs and all that. And his wife, they all having issues and problems because of the racism they felt. How horrible they got treated in this country. So Obama's out to get revenge. He had to get revenge for his dad. He had to get revenge for himself, for his wife, for his family that was mistreated. He had to get revenge for Islam. That's what Jeremiah Wright was giving hints and clues. And his speech on Savior's Day. And not only his speech, no, my, my bad, that's, um, that's Louis Farrakhan. Not Savior's Day, but the NAACP. The NAACP had an anniversary or some type of celebration and Jeremiah Wright was given a hint and a clues that oh it's going to be a change the nation of Islam is going to rise matter of fact maybe you can type that in on YouTube about Jeremiah Wright speaking at the NAACP speech or the anniversary or ceremony whatever it was on where he given a clues but Obama helping to destroy this country inside out Jesus outside in means when America falls that's what's going to lead to World War 3 because right now America is considered the superpower of the world so right now the enemies of this country are going to join together to bring this country down so when America falls that's when the enemies of this country are going to turn against one another battling against each other on who's going to be the next world superpower so that's where World War Three come in. World War Three comes after the destruction of America. Jesus comes after the destruction of America. And that's why it's in chronological order and revelation. That's why it's set in place the way it is. So after Obama's term, which pretty much is, you know, his assassination and him coming back alive or his so-called assassination and him being revived and truly set out to get revenge because he already got a lot of blackness in his heart from how he grew up in his country and what his family experienced so by them trying to kill him or assassinate him and he revives from it what do you think Obama's gonna do to this country destroy it 
he already has intentions to do that now but they try to kill him and he get revived from that attempt that assassination attempt he really gonna try to tear it apart he gonna try to rip this country in half burn it blow it up you name it so world war three america falls the enemies team up try to knock america well they will enemies team up shut america down then they all turn against one another who gonna be the next superpower and that is world war three that's when jesus comes down to participate in the last world war so that jerusalem the new jerusalem can come down but the new jerusalem cannot come down if it's a whole lot of fighting going on this earth and then all that fighting like i said out to america as far as the hebrew israelite brothers yes the blacks here in america we are israel and you can read genesis 15 and 13 is reference to that deuteronomy chapter 28 about all the curses and slavery and um those are the main two right now but it's many more but peace be unto you and christ for life